This is the first of a series of BIM tutorials in which you will learn how to build a 3D model of a family house. The model is based on the Villa PM by Architrend Architecture. Each step is subject of a separate movie. This movie shows you how to create the walls and columns of the ground floor. Download the step zero drawing to start building the model. Dimensions can be found in Dimensions PDF. All dimensions are in millimeters. The base of the walls sits at minus 100. Therefore, we set the elevation at this value. Launch the polysolid command and type 0, 0, in the command bar to specify the start point of the first exterior wall. The footprint of the wall displays dynamically. Type the length in the dynamic distance field. Make sure the blue tracking line displays when you press enter. Draw the next three walls using the same procedure. Now press the Shift key to lock the polar tracking line and snap to the start point of the first wall. Choose the Close option to create the last exterior wall. Type the desired height, then hit the Tab key to switch to the Width field. Hit the Tab key again to go back and forth between the dynamic dimension fields. Repeatedly hit the Control key to set the justification of the walls to left. The tips widget indicates the current justification. Press Enter to accept the justification and dimensions. Start the polysolid command and create an interior wall parallel to the rear exterior wall. Click the Solid Faces option on the Selection Modes toolbar. Hover over the end face of the interior wall and choose Bin Drag in the quad. Press the Control key. The wall connects to the exterior wall. Press Enter or right click to accept the connection. Hover over the obscured end face at the other end of the wall and hit the Tab key until the face highlights. Then use bin drag again to connect the wall to the nearest exterior wall. Hover over the side face of the wall and hit the tab key to highlight the obscured face. Choose bin drag in the quad and hit the tab key until the inside face of the exterior wall highlights. Type 4000 in the dynamic distance field and press enter. Create the next interior walls approximately at the correct position. And use bin drag to make T connections. and adjust the position of the walls.
For this wall I use bin drag to correct its length. Hit the tab key until the outside face of the exterior wall highlights, then type the length. Select these two exterior walls to modify their L connections. Choose Connect in the quad and hit the Control key to cycle the connection types. Press Enter to accept the connection. Notice how versatile the bim drag command is. You can use it to T-connect walls, position the wall with respect to any parallel wall and modify its length, thickness or height. And yet a few more walls. We will now create the supports for the glass walls of the atrium. Snap to the far bottom corner of the interior wall, then hit the shift key to lock the polar tracking line. Snap to the bottom right corner of the thin interior wall. Type 3400 in the dynamic distance field. Lock the polar tracking line, snap to the bottom corner of the interior wall and choose Close. Now create the glass walls on top of the supports. Set the current layer to glass walls 0. To conclude this movie, we will create the six columns of the ground floor. Set the current layer to columns 0. Start a circle command and type 750,750 to define its center. Then type 300 for its radius. Hover over the circle and choose Extrude in the quad. Snap to the top of one of the walls. Hover over the column and choose Copy in the quad and type 7050 in the Dynamic Distance field. Select both columns and choose Copy again, type 4150 Then choose Repeat and create a second copy at the same interval. This concludes the first step of the BIM tutorial. Thank you for watching. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.